Welcome back to our journey once again through God's Word. Today is a great day uh, as it highlights Psalm 36 as we're journeying forward. Today we have a psalm that gives us the reality of us being able to even sit here and for me be able to talk to you, for me be able to record this, for me to, or for you to be able to listen, for you to be able to even see, because this psalm has to deal with life itself. Sometimes we take it for granted that we are able to just wake up in each new day. But as verse 9 says in this Psalm 36, it is from the Lord that the fountain of life is given. It's such a gift. So I wanted to start off this morning with a word of prayer before we jump into Psalm 36. Let's pray. Thank you, Father, for life. It is a gift from you. It is something that you knit together each and every day. Help us to not take it for granted. Help us to cherish it each and every day that you wake us up with a new breath of life, that you wake us up with the light of the day, and they are all gifts of you. Help us, Lord, this day to cherish, to take a hold of the life that you've given to us, the light that is of this day. And Father, help us for whatever we do in this day, that it may be acceptable in your eyes, because you are our rock, our redeemer, and the life giver. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Let's dive into Psalm 36. Psalm 36 is divided into three parts. You're going to see kind of once again him confront the way of the wicked and then praise the Lord in the middle part and then at the end kind of have a community feel about the prayer that is uh, just a thanksgiving to God uh, for who he is and what the gift he's given to this community, this psalmist as well, and uh, how he walks forward in his day to day, praising him because he's not part of the first part, uh, which is of the wicked. So let's let's read together. Verse 1. An oracle is within my heart concerning the sinfulness of the wicked. There is no fear of God before his eyes, his being the wicked eyes. There is no fear of God before his eyes, for in his own eyes he flatters himself too much to detect or hate his sin. The words of his mouth are wicked and deceitful. He has ceased to be wise and to do good. Even on his bed, he plots evil. He commits himself to a sinful course and does not reject what is wrong. Your love, O Lord, reaches to the heavens, your faithfulness to the skies. Your righteousness is like the mighty mountains, your justice like the great deep. O Lord, you preserve both man and beast. How priceless is your chesed, unfailing love. Both high and low among men find refuge in the shadow of your wings. They feast on the abundance of your house. You give them drink from your river of delights. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light, we see light. Continue your love to those who know you, your righteousness to the upright in heart. May the foot of the proud not come against me, nor the hand of the wicked drive me away. See how the evildoers lie fallen, thrown down, not able to rise. This psalm is really all about the character, whether it be about the character of oneself or the character of God and how we walk in our day-to-day life. What character are we really focusing on? Because the way of the wicked in the first four verses is exactly about the character of just looking to oneself. It says here for one in verse two, and for in his own eyes, he flatters himself and he doesn't detect the hate or the sin that reigns inside of him. Because just focusing on yourself, you want to see good in who you are. He sees to do wise because in oneself there is no wisdom. He plots to do evil. He commits to himself a sinful course because looking to oneself is only going to amount to sin and to error and to no fear of God. But Lord, fix our eyes upon your creation, upon your character, on how you've knit life together. Let us open our eyes to the gift of life, as it says in verse 9. Let us open our eyes, fix our eyes on light, because it comes from you. When we do not fear God, as the wicked would do, we don't see light. We actually see darkness. But praise be to God that he continues to expose, to give us 
his chesed, right? once again, that loving kindness. He melts our heart. He breaks down the walls of our hearts so that we can actually see his character in life. And so that we can continue in our praise and thanksgiving for giving us light instead of darkness. It's a great psalm that really focuses on, yes, the character of the wicked, but also the character of God. And he has installed in us the character of God because in us, we are in Christ. And he is the light of the world. A marvelous psalm that fixes our eyes on the author of our life, the author of our light, and the one who walks with us each day to continue to give us his love so that we don't just look at ourselves, but we look at who God is. And that in deem, that, that in, in circumstance, that in our, um, sets us in our ways, when we look at our God, it makes us to look at us in such a more light-filled way. I hope that you look at yourself in that way. Look to God first, for in Him, He gives you salvation to make, make you look at yourself, not as wicked, but as the righteous, because God has made you that way. I pray that as you walk through this day, that you serve Him and look to Him in every aspect of your life today, knowing that in fear of the Lord is wisdom, but also the light of life. Have a blessed day. I'll see you tomorrow for the next song.